We're continuing working on the problems that involve F, G, and H, and K as defined here. So part C is K of H of X. So I'm going to replace H with what it's defined as, the cube root of X plus 2. And then I'm going to write K down with the big old parentheses where X is supposed to be. But I'm going to replace that X with the cube root of X plus 2. The cube root cubed just anni an annihilates the powers. So I'm left with X plus 2 minus 2. And then the 2's cancel and I'm left with X. Now remember from before, h of k of x was also x, and now k of h of x is x as well. That means that because this is true for both directions of the composition, h and k are inverse functions. M is a new function that I'm defining as 1 over g of x. Notice there's no m up here. It's just a new function that I'm creating by taking 1 over g. So m of x is just going to be 1 over g. <clears throat> and make sure it looks like it's all in the denominator. But the thing we're going to do now is calculate the domain of this function. So there's three things that can affect domain. Logarithm, there's no logarithm in there. Even indexed radical, no even indexed radical, or zero in the denominator. Oh, we have a denominator, so we have to think about that. So we have to make sure that x squared minus 3x plus 2 stays away from the number zero. So if we find the x values where it does equal zero, then we can exclude that from the domain. Okay, so if we remember factoring, this is a quadratic. I'm going to try to factor it. So x is first. 2 times 1 is the only two possible to, numbers that can multiply together to get 2. But I need negative 3. So if I make this negative and this negative, the sum of these two numbers is negative 3, but the product is positive 2, which is what I want. So this means that x is equal to, or sorry, x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0, because the product of the two things equals 0. Either one of these numbers can equal 0 on their own. So if I solve that, I get x equals 1, and then x equals 2. So if I'm going to strictly write my domain, x can't be 1 or x can't be 2. Remember, this was giving me the values that made my denominator zero, but I have to exclude them from the domain.